Welcome back. In this video, we're taking a step back from the Arduino to focus on a crucial skill in electronics, building circuits on a breadboard. This skill is foundational for all the exciting Arduino projects we'll tackle in this series. The breadboard is a construction base used for prototyping electronics. No soldering is needed, so you can assemble and tweak circuits quickly and painlessly. Notice the grid of the holes here. They're not just randomly placed. Each row of five holes is electrically connected inside the breadboard. This design makes connecting components like resistors, LEDs, and sensors in your circuit super easy. When placing components, insert the leads into the holes. Ensure they're firmly in place, but not forced in. To avoid unwanted connections, components should be inserted across the central divide or within the same row. We use jumper wires to make our components talk to each other and to the Arduino. These wires bridge components across the breadboard. Remember, the magic happens within those connected rows, so plan your layout to keep your circuit neat and functional. On the sides, you'll find the power rails, usually marked with red and blue lines for positive and negative connections. Use these rails to distribute power and ground across your breadboard. Connect your Arduino's 5 volt and ground or GND pins to these rails to power your components. Insert components carefully. Use jumper wires to connect and power your circuit via the power rails. Keep your layouts organized to avoid confusion and potential short circuits. Practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to experiment. You now know how to use a breadboard. With this essential skill, you can bring your Arduino projects to life. If you enjoyed this tutorial and are eager for more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Your support fuels our passion for teaching and making. Until next time, happy breadboarding.